Do you guys need any Lego Christmas ideas? Well then this video is for you. Today we're going to be making the Lego nativity scene that you can display anywhere in your house and it just looks amazing. So let's get into the video. We're going to start from scratch this time. This is a little new for me, so bear with me. So first you want to do is you want to lay out your plates. Yeah. So back in the day, Lego used to like, oh, you know, we're gonna put a big board down, we're gonna build on top of it. Now they're just kinda use stuff like this, where they have a whole bunch of plates layered as the base plate. It gives more detail and also looks really nice. So we're gonna go with that method. And to make this easier, all we're gonna need is one type of brick. And I got them right here. We've got some of these. You can pretty much find these in most sets. Again, this is a real Lego technique. You're gonna add what we did, kind of into Jesus walking on water. You're gonna add some plates to the sides of your manger. Now we can start layering our bricks for the back of the stable. And what I'm doing here is I'm overlapping as much bricks as I can. It gives it strength and it also gives it stability. So it, it don't be cracking all over the place. All right, so you finished kind of this wall looking thing. Honestly, we probably could have started one stud shorter and kind of angled it up because it's kind of tall. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do that right now. Let's start by putting a roof on next. One of these plates for the top, and you're just gonna put it. Put that on top. All right, for those of you that were Lego Movie fans, which I was not, but it had a really cool piece in it that I thought would be cool for this nativity. It is a star piece, and we can just clip that on the top right there. I know this is a weird way to build, but I'm just gonna build until I hit the ground. All right, look at that, guys. We've got this going on right here. I've kind of got an outline of a stable. Uh, I'm just gonna take some of my extra brown bricks that I have not used yet, and I'm just going around and kind of outlining. We got the stable, guys. We found some plates for the roof. These pieces. These were on the blacksmith shop, and I really like that roof style, so we're just kind of going for that beat up look we finished our roofs and now we're ready to put them on and the best way i like to put them on is with a ball joint these mixer joints or ball joints i really like because they kind of give a stronger connection this video is sponsored by brandon's brick lot it's on my sweater right here and if you need some pieces and fast shipping then we got you covered so go check us out all right so we have our stable completed i think it turns out really well it's it's simple but yet it's very detailed and i really like it Next, we gotta build a manger for baby Jesus to lay in. So I'm just gonna take six of these and make something like that. Look at that. This is from when we were made Jesus Walk on Water. So if you wanna go check that video out, it is up here somewhere. All right, and look at that, guys. This is the perfect nativity set. You can display anywhere on your mantle, on your counter, on your table, anywhere you want. It is so cool. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to see Jesus walk in the water, click one of these links up here. There'll be a video that will pop up. I really think you're going to enjoy it. And I'll see you in the next video.